With countless years of experience in WRC, Subaru prides itself as being one of the best all-wheel drive systems in the automotive industry. From rain to tarmac to snow, there isn't any surface that Subarus can't handle. If you live in an environment with snow, having all-wheel drive definitely can give you the stability that you need. I have the privilege of reviewing my buddy's Subaru Impreza today, and let's see what this car's all-wheel drive system is about. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Edgerton 30K Media. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, today I have a 2015 Subaru Impreza review here for you guys. Thank you to my buddy Clement for giving me the chance to drive it and review it. Uh, this car right here, it's the base trim model. As you guys can tell, a couple of stuff has been done to it, which we'll review later on in the video. Um, but as you guys can tell, it's kind of like a snow car. It has wheels, wider tires, and a Yakima uh, roof rack for the snowboarding equipment. So we'll take a look at the detail more uh, later on about that but right off the bat just some specs for you guys uh, this car has uh, a 2 liter h4 uh, engine it's the famous Subaru boxer engine boxer rumble and we'll take a look at that later on in detail it has 148 horsepower to the wheels and about 145 foot-pounds torque uh, which is somewhat uh, reasonable just from getting you know to A to B it's a good daily driver um, Subaru is well well known they're famous for their all-wheel drive system so uh, definitely if you guys are looking for a car to take to the mountains or uh, go snowboarding, uh, definitely look into that because uh, it's, it'll keep you safe on the road. You get grip on front and rear, and especially coming out of the corners, um, it, it, nothing comes out of corners more aggressive and more mean than uh, an all-wheel drive Subaru. So uh, with that being said, we'll walk around the car. We'll take a look at some of the, the nice features about the car. We'll pop the hood, take a look inside there, give you guys just a nice layout of the uh, base, base model, what the engine layout looks like, where the battery's placed, where, you know, where certain things are. And uh, we'll walk around the car, take a look at the wheel setup. Um, suspension is stock on this car, it's OEM, so nothing's been done. It just looks slightly lower because of the you know more wider profile tires and wheels. Um, but then last but not least, we'll look at the car, take a look at the exhaust system. It does have uh, an axle back uh, system in the car, so it does have that classic Subaru rumble. So we'll take a look at that. And uh, last but not least, we'll take you guys on some, some drives through some of the canyons and take maybe some extra footage for you guys there. And then uh, if uh, weather permits, maybe we can do some drive-bys then so thanks for tuning in uh, this is a 2015 um, Subaru Impreza base model and thank you to my friend Clement for letting me review his car please follow him on Instagram right here and follow me on Instagram right here as well and hope you guys uh, like and subscribe to this channel if you have any questions please post in the comments below and I'll take the time out to answer them I'll see you guys soon so now I'm sitting in, this, in the driver's seat of the car um, I guess the 12 to 6 driving position is really, really sturdy. Um, I'm about 5'10", and I feel like you know, the seat hugs you in place. You can kind of move it up and down a little bit, raise it. Um, I don't know if the wheel is... Oh, it is. The wheel, you can actually adjust up and down as well. And it does go in and out, which is a really nice feature, because some of these cars these days, they, they only let you adjust up and down, but it doesn't let you pull it out and in. So you can kind of set it to however you want it. Um, it feels really, really sturdy. I think... I, I, I like the, how the, even though the car is a base model, it, the wheel gives you more like a sporty feel to it. And I think I, I wouldn't be able to uh, sit in certain cars over long periods of time, but with this car, I think I can feel like I drive probably maybe four or five hours uh, without feeling any kind of pain or any soreness. But it feels really, really good. And uh, I could spend a lot of time and see myself being in this interior for a while, but we'll take it out for a spin in a bit and uh, give you more in depth view about that part. So, as you guys can see here, here is the engine layout of the H4. This is Subaru's classic boxer engine. Um, as you guys can tell, changing the spark plugs probably is pretty difficult in this car because you got to take off some panels and go sideways in to change the spark plugs. But uh, oil changes are fairly easy. As you can tell, those filters right in front here. Um, you can actually probably change the oil by just not even jacking the car up. Um, right off the bat, there's some Modifications, not much of this car, but for suspension modifications, there's a, a strut tower bar right here. Got the Megan tower bar, you guys can tell. It bolts into the um, strut tower, you can see here. It offers pretty much uh, optimal handling. I've seen this done on multiple cars. Uh, going over to the left right here, you have the 
air box right here with the um, sensor. Going over here, there's the alternator right here. Looks fairly new. It's been, it's, it's pretty clean in here. Pretty, it's been pretty steam clean. Um, got radiator up front, for upper radiator hose. Belts are all pretty clean. Um, there's some wiring uh, right here for the fog lights right there. Um, pretty much standard in this car. Um, got the brake booster right there. All the way to the ABS component right over there. Yeah, this is your pretty much standard uh, Subaru layout right here with just uh, it's pretty pretty impressive for a daily driver very clean um, no crazy modifications been done in this car just very OEM like and uh, uh, this car does see a lot of snow um, so in the mountains and being in snow often it's fairly clean down here you have the radiator fan right there you have the coolant reservoir right over here pretty clean off to the right we have the uh, windshield wiper component where you can add fluid um, wow so just Right here is where you add the engine oil. This car takes about OW20, pretty thin oil. I don't know what this car runs, but um, I run M zone on my cars. Seems like it's running an OEM engine filter right there, which is pretty nice. Got all the drive belts right over here. So these wheels are currently upgraded to the 15 by seven method 502 VT spec wheels. Currently running 205 65 R15 uh, wheel setup. So really grippy, elephant meteor. So it's good for traction and uh, definitely good in the snow because I keep mentioning in this review that it does see a lot of snow time. And what's special about these wheels is that uh, the Subaru Rally team uses the exact same setup with a similar tire uh, and wheel spec. So uh, you take a little bit of like the Subaru Rally spirit and kind of like um, fusing it into the, this base model which is kind of nice because you get a little the best of both worlds. And the base model car doesn't come with the fog lights so we have uh, Clement bought some fog lights off of eBay and they work pretty well they, they have that like JDM yellowish tint and uh, he wired it up to his fuse box so it turns on and off with his headlights and here we have the rally armor mud flaps this was an optional add-on from Clement and he wanted to give the car a more subtle look and being a little bit more aggressive and here we have the nameless catback exhaust which gives it the Subaru the nice boxer rumble and you guys can hear by taking a look here <laughs> So now we're back inside the cabin of the Subaru. Now as you can tell, it's pretty pretty nice layout. The wheel is like super smooth. Um, feels really good in your hand. I love the badging right here in front of the wheel. As you can see here, the speedometer. It's uh, really basic. You have the RPM right over here. You have the speedometer right over there. The red line's all the way up to about 68, almost 7,000 RPM. Uh, really really nice and clean. And I like how the Subaru has these carbon fiber or like I guess uh, they're mimicking carbon fiber this, these accents right here on the interior it makes the car look a little more sporty I like how there's like the red um, emergency blinkers right here I think uh, it's really like JDM like on my car I had to swap that out on mine but I like how he has that already there you have the two vents right up here and for right here you have the little screen that tells you like your gas mileage your MPGs and what song radio station you're on it has about a, a touch screen right here uh, I think it's about 5 inch touchscreen with a CD player, volume buttons right here, knobs to the side right over here. Going down right here we have the, this is the shifter lever, you have the park, reverse, neutral, drive right here. Pretty basic setup. Um, going over to the seats right here we have the, these seat covers, they're pretty nice, give a car a little more refined look. Clement has the all weather uh, tech mats right here so I think they're OEM Subaru so you get in on the car a lot easier it's not as not as a uh, dirty you know easier to clean for sure going up here there is no moonroof on this car which is the base model unfortunately but um, moonroof gives you some advantages and disadvantages but I think not having a moonroof is good because sometimes you don't want rattling and over time the seals get loose and it rattles so this car is not gonna rattle because you know, it has no moonroof going back to the seats right here it's pretty open pretty good spacing uh, enough to carry about five six passengers Seat belt in the middle right over there. And you look at you can open up the component right here. We have the storage comp component. You have USBs uh you connect right over here. Uh, pretty good to keep some of your sunglasses or some of your like spare parts right over here. And to the left you have uh this phone holder right here, more vents for AC. You have your window components right over here. You have the lock, lock, auto, up and down, rear windows. Uh you have speakers all around. You have one speaker here. One up here, and that, I think that's the tweeter system right up there. And then sound system is pretty, fairly good for this car. 
It's a really solid car. Going up, you have the mirror right here, which Clement has decided to replace with a Broadway wide-angle mirror. It looks nicer and gives you a better view of everything. Something nice about this car is it does have uh, audio controls on the steering wheel, so if you're driving, you don't have to be distracted. So I think you have that like, cruise control. You have the set your cruise control uh, up and down speeds right here. You have volume components up and down, back, source. This does have voice activated um, system, and you also make calls and, and drop calls from here. Really, really nice, really basic, but I love the steering wheel. I think it feels really good in the hand, and we'll drive it later to maybe check it out, but it feels really, really sturdy. Alright guys, so we're back in the 2016 Subaru Impreza. Uh, we're just driving on some canyon roads. Give you guys a little review of I think you know how the car feels like. Just right at the get-go, just the all-wheel drive. You can feel it. There's a big difference between like all-wheel drive and I haven't driven a lot of all-wheel drives to be honest. I've driven real drive, front wheel drive. Um, but nevertheless, the car feels it, it's not it doesn't feel sluggish or heavy at all. It accelerates despite being only about 150 horsepower. Um, comes with front and rear disc brakes, so we're gonna test into this corner going pretty hard in and then go on the brake a little bit, let the car warm up a little bit, but uh, yeah, the car feels really smooth. Um, the car grips the road, and I think that's due to the fact that also Clement upgraded the tires with the, you know, the wi a little wider setup, a little meatier setup, so it grips the road a lot more. And something about like all-wheel drive is that when you throw into a corner, it, it, it feels like it just, it clamps down on the road for a lot more and you can kind of bash it around maybe have like like weird lines on the on the canyon on the track but you'll still get through the corner and, and at pretty decent speed so yeah we're just gonna drive it up some of these corners and give it a little bit of throttle let's take it a little quick to this far corner right here and late on the brake turning it in and it feels pretty smooth no oversteer pretty smooth um, yeah it's one of my second Subarus I've driven the first one I've driven was an STI that was like many years ago but this one I think it's more of a well-balanced car for probably uh, getting you from A to B uh, it's a good car definitely for the for the canyons with the snow or going snowboarding because it has all-wheel drive and you feel much more planted and more stable being all-wheel drive and so I think that's something that we can uh, you know if, if you definitely want to take a lot of road trips or a lot of trips like up into uh, mountains, I think a Subaru would definitely be one of your, your top choices along with like either uh, an Evolution, but I don't think Evolutions, I don't think the Lancers are actually all-wheel drive. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but I think Subarus, I think their state-of-the-art all-wheel drive system is like, it's it's second to none, so you can't go wrong with getting a Subaru and, and I would definitely get this car if I live in like, you know, in Alaska or something with a lot of snow or if I went like snowboarding often, but which I don't go often, but yeah, let's just, let's just take it up to this corner right here. We're gonna push a little bit into some of the corners. Got a deep corner right here. A lot of bikers go around these days, so I don't wanna like hit anybody on bikes, but um, you guys can tell like the brakes are, are really solid. It grabs hard. The pedal feel is, is uh, a lot, a little bit more softer than my RSX. Um, and keep in mind, I did upgrade the brakes on that car. But anyway, this is a review, this review is about the Subaru, not my car. Uh, brake feel is pretty pretty smooth. Uh, throttle response is, is pretty um, responsive. Uh, some of the, I guess, not really quirks about the car, but I think the cabin, um, I think it's it was not as, as quiet as I thought it'd be, but I think that's due to the fact that it's, you know, it just have a lot of sound dending material. Um, but as you can tell when I gun it, you can kind of hear, you know, the cabin noise, but that just, you know, brings out the car, brings out the, the you know, like the, the life, and, and it makes the car feel more lively. So I think that's something that, you know, I think is uh, to keep in mind, if you want something that more quiet, then you're gonna have to put in some Dynamat, deaden out the sound a little bit. But uh, if you want something that's kind of lively, gets you from A to B and something fun, and something that can, you, you feel safe in. Like I'm cornering and I don't feel that much of a viral. I think the car's pretty stable. The front strut tower bar does help with the cornering and being all wheel drive, I think it's something that, I keep mentioning this over and over, but it's just so, so nice. and. Um, I think I did talk to the owner about a few months ago and I think he ran over a nail and something about all the drive system is that like if you have a flat tire or you damage one tire it's hard to replace that one tire and that could damage like the transmission or I think in the long run um, so you, you're gonna have to replace all four tires I think that's one of the downside of owning all-wheel drive but I mean how often do you run over like nails right I mean once in a while you might I mean I ran over a nail probably like once or twice in my lifetime and I drive every day 
So, but with that being said, I mean, this car feels really smooth. Driving position is great. I love the wheel. I love, it's pretty narrow. I think it's about 310 or 320 millimeter in width. So when you grab it, if you don't have big hands, I, can, I, can, I have like, not too big, but not too small hands, I think. Uh, oh, like, like they're, they're okay. But I love the position. I love the 96 feel. And I love just how light and how, how rigid it feels. So um, I would definitely recommend this Subaru to you guys. And I think you guys are looking for something that's, you know, an alternative to like maybe like a Civic or like a Corolla. I think this is something that you, you, you should be able to, to, to get without any problem. So we're going to just pull it back, flip a U-turn and go back. It feels really sturdy, really smooth. And this is the base model, keep it in mind. I think uh, the base model comes with like slightly smaller rim diameter. Um, there's some equipment that does come standard, you know, for example, like front and rear disc brakes. Um, you have a CVT transmission, which is a lot smoother. Um, and it gives you better gas mileage with the, you know, that, that newer um, technology. I think the older transmissions, they aren't as smooth and uh, so with this transmission, you know, you should definitely uh, feel a difference in terms of driving and acceleration. It's more smoother, the throttle response is a lot more fluid, and you put power to the ground a lot smoother. So I uh, definitely recommend this Subaru to you guys. I'd, I'd strongly, I mean, if I wasn't into as Honda that much, I would definitely probably look into a Subaru, maybe somewhere down the road, down the line. But the all-wheel drive, man, like I'm, I'm going to the corner right here, I'm hugging it. There's a cop right in front of me, I don't want to push it too much. <laughs> Law enforcement too, man, what's going on? But anyway, uh, hope you guys like the review and, uh, you know, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, su subscribe to my IG page and send me an email. Check out my website at edgerson32k.weebly.com. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want to see more footage. And uh, definitely let me know if you guys want to um, take it for another spin uh, one of these days. So, like I said, uh, thank you for Clement for letting me review his car and drive it around the canyons, for trusting me with his baby. Uh, I love the setup, love the exhaust note. Uh, it's not that loud, um, not that much drone either, so it's perfect for me, I think, in terms of a daily driver. Um, anyway, talk to you guys soon, all right? And hit me up if you guys have any questions. See you guys later. Bye.